smoking and and he was prepared to sort of he was prepared to sort of like say, look, we won't take your money when money would have been very useful. He, he, he had a strong moral agenda in that sense, didn't he? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, you have seen uh, the biography. Uh, uh, there would be a second edition of it. Uh, but in that, uh, you look at the... Uh, testimonial by Farah Ado, the vice president of CAF. He says that CAF rejected tobacco advertising for the respect it had for its president, Tasama. Not because the members and his colleagues believed that tobacco advertising would do harm to African youth, to the African youth, but because they respected him. Uh, and uh, so now uh, we are uh, promoting tobacco during the African Nations Cup. Uh, Tasama's question was, uh, number one, is it not contradictory to work for the well-being uh, of the use, physical, mental well-being of the use, on one hand, and to tell the same use, to invite the same use to enjoy cigarettes and alcohol. Number two, when one question was raised, whether we advertise or not, cigarette smoking among African youth will continue. His argument was, okay, these manufacturers, these multinational organizations are not stupid. If they offer us $14 million to promote tobacco, they know they will get $28 million out of the advertisement. And what does that mean in terms of increasing the n number of people, the number of African youth smoking cigarettes? So uh, he was totally against this. Uh, unfortunate, uh, it lasted, uh, this ban lasted uh, until uh, he died. Uh, now it's open. Uh, the other point uh, with regard to sponsorship was he wanted sponsorship money. He knew African sports, African sports confederations, especially African football confederation, could not survive without sponsorship money. And uh, in the final years, uh, their main source of income was sponsorship money. He signed so many agreements with ISL. But then what he said was, we love sponsorship money, but we love it to the extent that it does not interfere with the management of sports. Our sponsors are profit-making organizations. Their priority is profit. And our mission is not profit, is not money. It's the well-being of the youth. So if we allow entities with the objective, with the main purpose and objective of profit-making, to manage our sports, then we can never be sure that our mission will be accomplished through them. So he wanted to stay away from business, and he wanted sponsors to stay away.
from sports management. He understood that they could coexist, complement each other, but not interfere in one another's business.